Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello, how are you? So once again, I got the lovely pleasure of working with G Hair Extensions. They were so kind enough to send over their new and improved hair extensions, which I think is crazy because how can you improve something that's already a 10 out of 10? It's five in the morning. I'm literally filming this at five in the morning. I didn't go to bed. Before we get into the video, I do want to let you guys know they did not pay me to review these. They only sent over the extensions. They knew how much I loved them the last time I got them and they wanted to see if I could review them again. And I was like, uh, of course. You make good stuff. Really good stuff. So I filmed my last review about a year and a half ago. And I thought this would be kind of a really good opportunity to show you guys how my extensions have lasted over the past year and a half. G Hair's website does say that their hair can last two to three years, but the warranty... Uh, and the quality is only like covered for a year just in case anything was to happen. So I was like, let me show you guys what my extensions look like a year and a half later. So I still have them. They've been through a lot. I'm going to insert some clips from my last video so you can see how my extensions started. They started out blonde, and then they went gray, and then they went red. And now they are sitting at this shade right now, which is like a dark, dark brown. They're not quite black, but they're very, very dark brown. And I can realistically tell you that these have exceeded any hair extension I've ever had in my life. These have really held up through literally anything. I've put them through so much. If you think about how much I've put them through, it's like, how are they alive? So I have all of the clips here except for one which I saved just in case I ever did make this video. And I don't know what happened, but she didn't survive the red phase, okay? She just kind of exploded. The clip fell off, which they send clips so that you can replace them, but the hair also started like, like just every, they just, they fell apart. And I don't think that that's G Hair's fault. I think that was my fault. Yeah, the, the elasticity is just like really bad in this one now, so. I can finally lay her to rest because I've been saving it for literally forever. I was red like, yeah, like a solid year ago. So I, that's how long I've been saving this. As far as the clips on this set right here that I have had for a year and a half, they are still holding strong. I think there's one in there that I sewed up and it was completely fine. I'm going to actually give these to my sister, but I think I can get away with wearing these for another year. Not even kidding. Like they're still insanely thick. It's scary how thick they are. That's what she said. That's my joke. Let me pull one out and show you guys. So you can see the band on the top is still blonde because that doesn't color, but I don't know if you guys can see. Maybe I can uh, insert a clip. I have like kind of destroyed the clips here. The clips that I'm currently wearing, which are the new set of G Hair extensions, they're black bands because they came in a black tone. These came in blonde, so the tops of them are blonde. That's why they're a different color. The clips, however, because they've been through so much, are so sturdy. You would think with how sturdy they are that they're like rusted, but they're not, which is like, I don't know. I just feel like they feel like how they would be if they were rusted, but they're not rusted. So I don't even know if that makes any sense. It doesn't. Like they are still so silky. When I got them, they were silky. They are still silky and I've shampooed them like realistically probably like 15 times and not because I needed to shampoo them for any particular reason other than I colored them so many times. So I really just want to show you guys the ends. Like this looks like a fresh haircut, right? Like they're still hanging in very nicely. I think I could cut off an inch and get away with them perfectly. I do want to point out that I take very good care of my extensions like 75% of the time. I will brush them and I will hang them up. I will put them in their little hanger, they will go in my closet, they will stay there until I use them again. Can't say the same for my Bellamy extensions, I kind of just throw those everywhere because they're garbage at this point. I've had my Bellamy extensions for four years and yeah that's good, but they have really just taken a turn and I think it's time to just, just, just cut it out, like just get rid of them, you know? So as far as how they've lasted for a year and a half, they are looking really good, very good. I'm actually gonna give this set to my sister. When I got my new set in, I let my sister try those on and she looked, gosh diggity, amazing to be quite honest. She looked really good. 
So I will be giving those to my sister. They're the perfect color match for her, which happened to work out great. Basically just because I'm drowning in extensions at this point and I don't know what to do with my life. You know what I'm saying? Mega Babe extensions have had literally everything possibly thrown at them that I could have imagined at this point. The only thing I didn't do to them is bleach them because that's just like a death sentence. You don't ever want to bleach your extensions. Uh, I didn't know that at one time when I was in cosmetology school and I just, I ruined my hair extensions. The only hair extensions I'd ever owned and I just destroyed them. So now let's talk about these bad boys. <laughs> look at all, look at, look at all this hair. So these are actually 40 grams less than the Mega Babe set. This is the Soulmate set, which I think is such a cute little name. These came in the shade number one, which is the darkest that they have. So the reason that these are improved is because the weft is actually a lot thinner and not as wide. And I do have a clip that I will show you right here so you can see the difference between the two different wefts. So remember the one with the blonde band, that is the Mega Babe. And the one with the black band, that's the Soulmate. So these are 100% human hair, there's a one year quality, you can wash them just like uh, your regular hair. However, I did receive an email from G Hair and said that you don't have to wash these, you can just wipe them down with a cloth, which I think is pretty genius and that will save me a lot of time in the future, that's for sure. You can cut these and heat style them just like it's your own hair, there's no problems there. The only thing you don't want to do is put a flat iron directly or a curling iron directly onto the polyurethane, you know. I loved that word last video. This company uses something called polyurethane. Polyurethane? Polyurethane? Wow. Genius. Genius hair. G hair. Okay, yeah, I wanted to make sure, last time I did this video, um, I, th I don't remember if I mentioned this, but they do have a color matching email address if you feel like you want to pick out a color and you're not really sure. You can email colormatch at ghair.com and they will help you out. I'll put it right here on the screen. Mine was very simple, I just needed a black. So this is the hanger from my previous set, this is the hanger from my new set. They're the same, I think they just kind of repackage them and make it a little bit sleeker. Um, they both hang in my closet just nicely. So the 22 inch Soulmate set comes with two 9 inch 100 gram pieces, two 6 inch 60 gram pieces, and four 3 inch 60 gram pieces as well. So the Soulmate is 220 grams, Mega Babe is 260 grams. I'm used to the 260 grams, so I thought, that's like a lot of numbers, hold on. I'm used to the 260 grams. But when I looked back at the footage that I filmed before I waved my hair, I could tell that the 260 grams was a lot of hair, even for me. Like, I always think because I have such a big head that I need more hair, but these looked so much more, like, natural on my hair, and, um, I'm kind of vibing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm vibing. If you remember from my last video, I had super short hair. I was growing out like a mullet type thing because I had fried all my hair off. So I was growing out basically what was a mullet. The G hair really blended nicely. I think because my hair cuts a little blunt now that they're not blending as much as I would like. So I might have my hairstylist, shout out Sarah, to uh, kind of do something about that so I can blend them a little bit better. At this point, I don't know what more there is to say. Can you just accept the fact that you're sleeping on G hair extensions? These are truly the best extensions I've ever had in my life. Why do I look so mad? I'm not mad. <laughs> so I think now I'm gonna jump into the demo portion of the video so I can show you guys how I clip in my extensions. Last video, for some reason, I did it facing the camera, which was the, the most unflattering thing. And then G hair put that on their Instagram and I was like, oh. <laughs> So you'll be seeing the back of my head this time <laughs> instead of the front. So let's just jump on into the demo, shall we?
So if you would like more information on G hair, I did post a video about it a year and a half ago and I'll link it up here. You should go watch it because I go in depth really deep into the brand of G hair and I'm really proud of that video and it's doing pretty well. More information is in that video. This was kind of just like a one year later type situation. And just to let you guys know, I did reach out and ask for a discount code. I haven't gotten anything back yet, but if I do get a code, I'll put it in the description and also it'll be the pinned comment in the comment section so you can see what the discount code is. I, I don't know how much it is. I don't know. I did ask though, so hopefully we can get one. <laughs> Also, in the future, if you guys would be interested in a Bellamy versus G hair video, please let me know. I thought about it, and I don't know if there's enough information to kind of like cover a whole video, but if that's something you're interested in, like seeing me compare them, please let me know down below, um, and I'll do that. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have not already, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, leave a like and a comment, and go ahead and share this video so one of your friends can leave a like and a comment. And remember, throw your negativity overboard and let your dreams set sail. I'm going to go set sail into my dreams, literally, because it's 7 in the morning. See you guys next time.